Broadcast Colors is bound under the color correction category, and this is really meant for footage that's going to be broadcast on TV. If I bring it out onto this still photo of a sunset, nothing really changes. And in general, that's pretty much a good thing. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm very familiar with broadcast safe colors, but the purpose of this effect is to help you maintain your colors to a broadcast standard. Here in the US, it's NTSC. In other parts of the world, it would be PAL. And if none of this is making sense to you, there's a very good chance it doesn't apply to you. If you need to be making broadcast safe graphics, then somebody is probably going to be telling you that. So don't worry if this is going over your head. Like I said, I don't have much experience with it myself. But there's really only two controls that we have here. The first one is how to make the colors safe. And by default, it's set to reduce luminance, meaning it's going to darken any pixels that are beyond the broadcast safe brightness values. Or we could change this to reduce saturation, which does the same thing, but instead of brightness, just lowers the saturation of pixels so that they become broadcast safe. And then we have this maximum signal amplitude, IRE, which is basically like a threshold, how drastic this effect is going to change your colors. Obviously, the lower you go with this, the more it's going to manipulate the image, and this obviously looks pretty bad now. If I change it to reduce luminance, same thing. It's going to start breaking up those colors and producing banding. So you're going to want to play with that setting to get it to look the way that you want it. The only other options we have in these controls is to key out unsafe or key out safe. And this is really just for a preview. If I say key out unsafe, we don't really see anything happening. But if I say key out safe, my entire image goes away except for a couple of pixels down here in the bottom right corner. So you can use these two settings as kind of a diagnostic tool to visualize where the unsafe pixels are. So if I turn the maximum signal amplitude down a little bit, that's going to bring some more of this into the unsafe zone. Remember, I'm keying out the safe pixels, showing my green background where the pixels that don't need any correction exist. If I were to now change this back to key out unsafe, since I lowered this value, more of those pixels are getting keyed out. Again, its primary use is for making colors safe for broadcast, and unless you are responsible for sticking to those guidelines, you're likely never going to use this in your own workflow. I know I haven't, but that is the broadcast colors effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.